Hi guys, Christy from SharkPixel.com here. Just have a quick video tutorial for you today about how to create lens flare using the brush tool in Adobe Lightroom 4. So let's get started. I've got my before image here and this is my after image. Um, all of this lens flare was created in Lightroom 4 and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. It's pretty simple if you think about it. It's just using the brush tool in Lightroom in a bunch of various ways with very big brushes to create a lens flare that wasn't there previously. So what I'm going to do is start by holding down option and clicking the effects button right here and what that does is it just resets your brush settings so that it's all at zero. So let's start with the first one. I went ahead and I just added a little bit of warmth and we're gonna take the exposure up to about 50. What I could kind of deduce from looking and analyzing some of the lens flare that I've seen is that lens flare really does diminish contrast and somewhat saturation and clarity. So by doing that you can kind of mimic those expressions by playing around with some of your sliders here. So I'm going to take contrast down to about 90. It doesn't have to be exact of course. Highlights I'm going to take down to 75 minus 75 and this is minus 90 for contrast. Um, shadows we're going to take as light as possible up to 100 Again, what we're doing is just diminishing contrast in the brush that we're going to be using. Clarity as well, going to take down to 100. I'm going to bump just a little bit of saturation to make it stand out from the background, the, the brush that I'm going to be using. Sharpness, obviously down to 100. I'm going to add a little bit of a color cast to this first one. Let's go with yellow and let's take the feathering on this to about 50 and let's take the size to about 70. All right, so this is our first brush. So what I want to do is just kind of bring it in in this upper corner here and I'm just going to click once with that brush and what it does is it gives you a really nice soft beginning of our lens flare. So this, you can tell that this is starting to show a little bit of the, the effect that you can get in camera when you shoot an image directly into the sun. So let's continue with our next brush. Let's do the lower right, if we look here at our after quickly, I'll show you. So I did a little bit of a different effect up here. I wanted a little bit more feathering on the edge here but for this one down here this larger yellow one you know you you remember that it's you can tell lens flare because it's usually all on the same axis right so let's go ahead and try and replicate this one down here on our image that we're working on now and then we are going to start with a new brush and let's just come to the effect and option click on effect so that we can start fresh with our new brush and Let's get started. So I'm going to bump the temperature to about 60. And we're going to bump the exposure up just a bit, maybe one and a half, one and, one and a third. Take the saturation down just a bit, 35. And again, these are all values that you can play around with. You can change whatever suits your needs is going to be best for your images. So if you've got really, really light images and everything's kind of blown out and you want a really, really soft feel, then you can always add a little bit less saturation, a little bit less contrast. And again, if, if you've taken on a brush your clarity all the way down, say on this, on this brush you took your clarity all the way down but it still wasn't blurry enough, go ahead and just add a second brush right on top of that, click next to it, and add an additional brush with just 100% clarity on top of that. There's no problem when it comes to stacking and layering your brush strokes in, in Lightroom. Sorry for that tangent. Let's get back to what we were doing. So we've got our saturation down 30, 33%. We're going to add a little bit of another. Let's go with that goldenrod color again. And I'm going to click 
So we've just added this brush stroke here that I like the effect but what I don't like is that you can't really see that edge and a lot of times when you're trying to achieve lens flare you do kind of see those those arcs on the side of uh, of the circle. So what I'd like to do is just move backward and delete that brush stroke that I just did and this time take the feathering way down to zero. Alright, now let's try. Alright, there's that edge that I was trying to achieve. As you can see in our after, quite similar edge. Alright, there we go. It's a little bit bright for me, so I'll just bring it down just a tad. And let's move on. The next brush that I'd like to add is this middle sized one. Okay. So we are going to start with a new brush. Take your effect, hold down Option to clear out your settings. And let's start with about 60 for warmth in the temperature. Let's take your exposure up again, 1.3. And this time, why don't we change around the color? Let's go with like, like a nice orangey warm color there. Let's add just a little bit of feather, but not much. And then we're going to take the brush down to 17. And then just click once again. It's going to give you another nice circle with a harder edge, which I like. Um, and that looks good. Let's just bump this exposure just a tad. Yep, I like that. And we're going to move on to our last little circle. Again, we're going to come back and click New so that we have a new, a new, new brush that we're going to be working with. And go ahead and Option click Effect to reset your brush. Let's take the temperature to a little bit of a bluer, a bluer tinge just so that it pops out against these two very warm circles that we've got here. Exposure up to one. Let's take the saturation down. Again, just kind of playing around with everything. You can easily, easily change these. They are not set in stone at all. And it really does matter you know, what, what looks good to you at the end of the day. If you're trying to create something more artistic, then go with something a little bit more out there. Maybe add some cool colors into your lens flare that wouldn't usually be there in a regular scenario if you were just shooting and trying to create lens flare outside. Here we go. Here's our last little little flare there. If I move my cursor off the image or I can leave my cursor on the image and hit the H key, it's going to hide your access points to all of your different brush tools. So here we've got this one selected. I'm just going to confirm that because it's got the black dot in it and then if you hover over it you do see the mask. And let's add a little bit more exposure here just so that it kind of pops out there. I'm seeing a lot of contrast in this smaller dot right here and I'd like to maybe get rid of a little bit of that contrast so with this access point selected I'm going to come down on the clarity all the way take the shadows up take the highlights down and then also decreasing the contrast which is basically just diminishing contrast in this little circle right here. For some reason the green just seems a little off so what I'd like to do is bump this one dot just a little bit warmer and maybe add a little bit of saturation to it and maybe add some warmth and maybe take the tint up because I'm trying to make it a little bit more red. Let's try maybe this purple. There we go. I'm trying to see the red show up in the image but sometimes if you've got a background color and you're applying a color on top of that, you have to think about going back to your color wheel and finding the complementary color that's going to give you the effect that you're looking for. For example, I wanted this dot a little bit orange and red, but what color I ended up applying to it is this magenta color. That's because the color behind it is actually green. So those two colors are mixing together to create the orange effect that I wanted to get from it. 
So I'm pretty happy with that. If we hide all of the brush strokes that we've added to this image, this gives you the before and the after, all in Lightroom, no Photoshop needed. And at this point in Lightroom 4, you cannot save a preset with a brush stroke, but hopefully we'll see that changing in the future if, you know, if I had my wish. And you'll be able to create an array of different lens flare brush strokes and add them, you know, to your images with the click of a button. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and please visit sharkpixel.com. I will be uploading more video tutorials in the near future. Thanks so much and hope you enjoyed it.